Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff and was told, Go and measure the temple of God and the altar and count the number of worshippers there, but exclude the courtyard outside the temple. Do not measure it, because it has been given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will empower my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. These witnesses are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. If anyone wants to harm them, fire proceeds from their mouths and devours their enemies. In this way, anyone who wants to harm them must be killed. These witnesses have power to shut the sky so that no rain will fall during the days of their prophecy, and power to turn the waters into blood and to strike the earth with every kind of plague as often as they wish. When the two witnesses have finished their testimony, the beast that comes up from the abyss will wage war with them and will overpower and kill them. Their bodies will lie in the street of the great city, figuratively called Sodom and Egypt, where their Lord was also crucified. For three and a half days, all peoples and tribes and tongues and nations will view their bodies and will not permit them to be laid in a tomb. And those who dwell on the earth will gloat over them and will celebrate and say in one another gifts, because these two prophets had tormented them. But after the three and a half days, the breath of life from God entered the two witnesses, and they stood on their feet, and great fear fell upon those who saw them. And the witnesses heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Come up here. And they went up to heaven in a cloud as their enemies watched them. And in that hour there was a great earthquake, and a tenth of the city collapsed. Seven thousand were killed in the quake, and the rest were terrified and gave glory to the God of heaven. The second woe has passed. Behold, the third woe is coming shortly. Then the seventh angel sounded his trumpet, and loud voices called out in heaven, The kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he will reign for ever and ever. And the twenty-four elders who sit on their thrones before God fell on their faces and worshipped God, saying, We give thanks to you, O Lord God Almighty, the one who is and who was, because you have taken your great power and have begun to reign. The nations were enraged, and your wrath has come. The time has come to judge the dead and to reward your servants, the prophets, as well as the saints and those who fear your name, both small and great, and to destroy those who destroy the earth. Then the temple of God in heaven was opened, and the ark of his covenant appeared in his temple. And there were flashes of lightning and rumblings and peals of thunder and an earthquake and a great hailstorm.